Why pick BCNC geography? Geography is the study of people and the environment in which we live and helps us understand the interactions between the two. So why did I pick GCSE Geography when I was in school? For me, it's one of those subjects that explains things. It helps us understand our place in the world and it helps explain the reason why things happen like they do. It also inspired me for my love of travel, where it encouraged me to travel to parts of the world that previously I wouldn't have travelled to. So in GCSE Geography, what do we learn? The course currently runs over three years where there are three sections. In Unit 1, we explore the changing country in which we live, where we explore human populations, the challenges and threats that that can bring to our country. We also explore the physical world, where we explore the physical processes that have shaped the very land that we walk on today, from the highest mountains to the lowest valleys, the forests and the sea. In Unit 2, we then explore further the changing dynamic world in which we live today, where initially we explore arguably one of the greatest threats to human existence, the threat of climate change. From the melting ice caps in the Arctic regions, to the rising sea levels, to the expanding deserts, onto the extreme weather events. This is then followed by the changing world in which we live in terms of economic growth, where the richest in society continue to get richer and the poorest in society continue to get poorer. We investigate the global changes in different parts of the world, from the growth of the Asian tigers in countries such as India and China, to the economic challenges that they face in Africa on a daily basis. Finally, we're going, we're going to explore the economic ties that we have globally, the impact of world trade, the impact of globalization. The final aspect of the course is a coursework, which currently accounts for 20% of the overall course, where the th many of the things which I've mentioned today, we explore around the world and investigate them. So how will I be assessed? As mentioned, 20% is the NEA. The remaining 80% is two written based exams you, which you will sit at the end of year 11. In terms of exam results, the geography department here has performed very well. Two years ago, for example, 81% of the pupils passed the GCSE course with an A star to C, with 100% passing with an A star to G. Last year, we saw our best ever results, with 85% of pupils achieving an A star to C. And again, 100% of pupils are achieving an A star to G. But finally, my advice is, it's important that you pick what you're good at and what you enjoy, because ultimately, it's your future.